Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that which of the given functions has larger maximum f of x is equal to minus 3 into x minus 3 whole square plus 2 or f of t is equal to minus 8 t square plus 16 t. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Here we are given these two quadratic functions that is f of x is equal to minus 3 into x minus 3 whole square plus 2 and h of t is equal to minus 8 t square plus 16 t and we have to find that which of these functions has larger maximum? Let us see the first function that is f of x is equal to minus 3 into x minus 3 whole square plus 2. Now we know that vertex form of quadratic function is given by a into x minus h whole square plus k where vertex that is coordinates of vertex are h, k. Now comparing this given function with vertex form of a quadratic function, we have h is equal to 3 and k is equal to 2. So, vertex of this function is given by the ordered pair h, k that is the ordered pair 3, 2. Also, here you can see that a is equal to minus 3. Now, as a is equal to minus 3, which is less than 0, so, graph of the given function will open downwards and vertex will be the maximum point and y coordinate of the vertex will give the maximum value of the function. Now here you can see y coordinate of the vertex is 2. So the maximum value of the function is equal to 2. Now let us take the second function that is h of t is equal to minus 8 t square plus 16 t. Now first of all we will express this quadratic function in vertex form by method of completing the squares. So this implies h of t is equal to now here first of all we will make coefficient of t square 1 for this we will take minus 8 common from both these terms and it will be minus 8 into t square minus 2t by whole. So this implies h of t is equal to minus 8 into now here within the bracket we will add and subtract square of half the coefficient of t. So it will be t square minus 2t now half the coefficient of t is minus 1 so its square is 1 so here we will add 1 and we will subtract 1 further this implies h of t is equal to minus 8 into now here t square minus 2t plus 1 is t minus 1 whole square minus 1 and this complete whole this further implies h of t is equal to minus 8 into t minus 1 whole square plus 8 so we have expressed this function in vertex form now on comparing here we have h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 8. So vertex of this quadratic function is given by the ordered pair 1, 8. Also, here you can see that a is equal to minus 8. 
which is less than 0. So, graph of this function will open downwards and vertex will be the maximum point and y coordinate of the vertex will give the maximum value of the function. Now here, y coordinate of vertex is equal to h. So maximum value of the function is equal to 8. Now we have obtained that the maximum value of the function f of x is equal to 2 and the maximum value of the function h of t is equal to 8. Thus, the function h of t has larger maximum. Now let us see this graphically. Here this red curve is the graph of the function f of x and this blue curve is the graph of the function h of t. Now here, this point is the highest point of this red curve and this point is the highest point of this blue curve. Clearly, you can see that the function h of t has larger maximum than the function f of x. So this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.